Well, when we began to hear about this next story in the newsroom, a little after 2 p.m. this afternoon, it sounded very strange. And as KMPH news anchor Jessup Reisbeck shows us, it only got crazier. An absolute bizarre scene here in West Fresno at the corner of McKinley and Marks. A man claiming his Jesus plows his car into a PG&E worker, pinning him against his truck because the worker was black. The man's passenger who had a hatchet and innocent bystanders come to the rescue. Comes driving down this way. He's like, you know what? I come to realize I'm Jesus Christ and I can do anything I want to. And watch this. Bam! And he smashed into this guy right there, pinned him in between that truck. Homeless hitchhiker Kai was in the passenger seat of the Oldsmobile when this all went down. Tanya Baker and her daughter Ginger Miller Peraza were two of the first to run over and help. My mom ran to the driver to make sure he was okay because we thought maybe it was just an accident or something, and I ran straight to the pg &E man. This was far from an accident, and the ordeal was far from over. The guy just went crazy and was trying to pull the guy from underneath the car in the truck, and then he gets in his car and tries to move the car in that, and we weren't going to let him do it. If you started driving that car around again, man, there would have been a hell of a lot of bodies around here. He, he just kept saying he was Jesus Christ and he's going to save all of us and that, but we have to get, he used the N-word, meaning the black people and that. He said we need to get them out of the earth. The African-American PG&E worker was rushed to the hospital and underwent surgery for non-life-threatening injuries. And he wasn't the only person that the crazy driver went after. When he put me in a bear hug and started beating the crap out of me, for what reason, we still don't know. And these two women are trying to help him. He runs up and he grabs one of them, man. Like a guy that big can snap a woman's neck like a pencil stick. So I ran up behind him with a hatchet. Smash, smash, smash. And that's what Tanya said saved her life. The driver is described as a big man, over six feet tall and three to 400 pounds. Kai, the homeless hitchhiker, <laughs> didn't care. That woman was in danger. He just finished uh, what looked like at the time killing somebody. And if I hadn't have done that, he would have killed more people. As crazy as things got here, the best news is somehow, luckily, none of the injuries suffered are life threatening. And the guy driving that car is right where he belongs in police custody. In West Fresno, Jessup Reisbeck, KMPH News. Tanya Parker, the lady who got beat up by the suspect after trying to help, says if the same thing happened tomorrow, she'd still be right there to lend a hand.